It was a flight she begged her husband not to pilot. And it was the flight that killed him. The wife of the captain of the Ukrainian airliner that crashed in Iran is consumed by grief. She's comforted by her father and friends as they pay tribute to him and the 10 other Ukrainian victims at Kiev airport. It's from here that Captain Volodymyr Gaponenko took off and never returned. Katerina told me about their last conversation. Did you feel nervous because you knew the situation on the ground and you knew your husband was flying? Did you feel nervous on that morning? Предчувствия были, их было много. Я просила его не лететь, я просила его не не делать этого. Но он сказал фразу, которую, ну уже ее не вернешь. Он сказал: если не я, то никто более. Если я есть в наряде, значит рейс есть, рейс запланирован, и я лечу. Я его просила остаться. The ball of flames marks the final moments of Ukraine International Airlines Flight 752. It came down hours after Iran blasted missiles at U.S. targets across the border in Iraq. Iranian air defences would doubtless have been on alert at that time for the U.S. firing back. These black box flight recorders will hold crucial data about what happened. American officials believe an Iranian anti-aircraft missile shot the plane out of the sky, most likely by accident. Tehran insists this is wrong, claiming a technical failure on board. Most Western governments disagree. We do believe that it's likely that that plane was shot down by an Iranian missile. Uh, we are, we're going to let uh, the investigation play out before we make a final determination. It's important that we get to the bottom of it. Uh, I've been on the phone. I was on the phone with President Zelensky. Uh, just before I came here, I was on the phone with my Canadian counterpart. Uh, they were working to get their resources on the ground to conduct that thorough investigation. We'll learn more about what happened to that aircraft. In Ukraine, the main spy agency says a missile or terrorism is to blame, but ministers are keeping an open mind. Which way are you leaning, a missile or a tragic accident on the plane? We're analyzing the pieces of the body of the plane. We're analyzing the bodies of people perished in the crash. They are in hospitals right now. We're analyzing the chemical residues on the, on the body of the plane. We will come to our conclusion. We don't want to, to come to them right now. But this American commercial pilot on a trip to Kiev has little doubt. Absolutely, I believe the airplane was shot down uh, by a surface air missile, without a doubt. And, and why do you think that? Well, just due to the nature of the, uh, the crash. Uh, the aircraft was just coming out of the airport uh, on departure. Uh, I believe it had only climbed to about 8,000 feet. Um, and witnesses said they saw the airplane engulfed in flames and on fire. And a key component to um, my, my feeling is, is that the pilots never made an emergency mayday call. Answers to what caused the crash won't blunt the grief of the families of these victims. But the truth will help them understand and seek justice from whoever was to blame. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Kiev.